Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to GAL. First off, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the loving support for Premier Pup the last five months during his battle of cancer. And unfortunately, last week he did pass away and Pup was really the most amazing dog and he really will be missed so much. And animals are your family and having him pass was really, really difficult. Uh, you can never prepare for something like that. And over the past month, when I've taken a break, it's it's been a period of grieving. I, and I know that Spike, which was his name, also known as Premier Pup, he always loved it when I filmed. Like, it just brings joy to me to remember that that he will always be here by my side when I'm filming and when we're going on walks and taking breaks. And I know that he will always be here. And, you know, he he wants, I know in my heart, he wants me to continue making videos because I know it makes me happy. It makes him happy and my family happy. So before we jump into the video, I just want to take 30 seconds or so just to honor his memory. So I'm just going to play a little video here of some of uh, my favorite memories with Premier Pup. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to honor Premier Pup. It means the world to me. And so now I'm so excited to get back into video editing and creating these tutorials. I know that Premier Pup Spike would love me to continue doing what I love. And so today I'm excited to share with you five creative title effects. The first one I'll be showing you is a neon realistic look using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Then I'm going to show you an underwater effect using the wave warp effect in Premiere Pro. Then a handwriting effect using the write on effect in Premiere Pro. Then video inside of text inside of Premiere. And lastly, I'll be showing you how to use this really cool long shadow effect from Smashworks. And that brings us to today's sponsor, which is Smash Workshop. You can use my code GAL10 to get 10% off any of their creative video products. I'll be showing you how to use a couple of their awesome effects and motion graphics templates in this tutorial, including Animation Builder, which allows you to build super fast and impressive animations in Premiere without any keyframes. And whoever leaves the best comment will win a free version of Animation Builder. So thank you Smashworks for giving that away. And don't forget to comment and I'll pin my favorite one and contact you if you're the winner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. First up is the neon title effect. To start, I have this really cool looping neon palms stock video clip in my timeline. And by the way, all of the stock assets that I'm using in this tutorial are linked below in my description box. So what we're gonna do is put a centered neon text on top of this stock video clip. And to make it look more realistic, we're going to jump over to Photoshop. Now I've already downloaded this really cool font called God's Own Junkyard, and it comes with a Photoshop action that gives the text a realistic neon look. So in Photoshop, I'm going to start with a 1920 by 1080 canvas size template. Next, let's select the type tool and choose the font God's Own Junkyard. And I'm going to type out the letters neon. And if you have a background layer, just turn off the visibility so the background will be transparent. But this is where it gets cool. We're going to go to Window, 
actions and then click on the hamburger icon and go to load actions. From here, I'm going to choose the action file that came with the God's Own Junkyard font download. Now with the action selected, just hit play to run it. And after you hit play, it'll open up a series of effects windows. Just hit OK on all of them until it's done. And if you want to change any of the colors of the various glows and drop shadows, just double click on the effects and you can choose a new layer style and update the color. I'm going to leave the colors as is and then I'm going to go up to file, export, quick export as a PNG. Next, this is where we're going to use the animation builder tool from Smashworks to create an in and out animation and a neon flicker effect. After you download Animation Builder, you'll find a folder called Custom Image. In my case, I'm going to be using the Custom HD Mogurt file with my Neon PNG file. To make this work, you need to go to smashworkshop.com slash customizer. And this is where we will drag and drop the Custom HD.Mogurt file. And here we can also add in several of our own custom images, but in our case, I just have one. So I'm going to add in my neon.png file, and then I'm going to select generate template. And I'm going to call this neon. This will auto download the new Mogrit file with my neon type added. And now from Premiere Pro's essential graphics panel, I'm going to click on the plus icon here in the lower right to install the new Mogrit file that we just created. And now from browse, I can search for this Mogurt and drag and drop it onto the timeline on top of the video layer so it's on video layer two. And at first you're going to see some added interface text with details about the animation that you're creating. And if you wanna turn this off, just uncheck interface. So the first step is to start customizing the animation duration. I'm going to change it to five seconds. Next, let's go to object placement. I'm going to move the neon text down to around 220 so it's closer to the road. Now for step three in and out animation, I want to animate the position. So I'm going to change animate to one and I'm going to keep the direction at 180 degrees, but I'm going to change the animation type to a bounce by selecting three. And I'll keep the rest of these in and out animation parameters the same. And next on to step four, which is looping animations. This is where we're going to create the flicker. So go to animate opacity and select two for flicker. And now we can hit enter or return to render out the full effect. And here is the final result. You can see how it nicely bounces in, flickers, and then it bounces out at the bottom. Next is the underwater effect. First, let's go to the type tool, then click on the program monitor to type out the word that you want to animate. I'm going to type out underwater. Then from the essential graphics panel, I'm going to choose a typeface I like called Jack Saxophones, which is available on Envato Elements. And next, I'm going to adjust the text size and use the align tools to center the title in the frame. Then let's select the text layer from the timeline and from effect controls, we can go to blend modes, which is underneath opacity. Here I'm going to click to the drop down, and I'm going to choose a soft light to blend it better in with the background. Next, it's time to add a water wave effect. Go to the effects panel and search for wave warp. This is a built-in effect and it's free, so just drag and drop it on the underwater text layer. To customize the animation of the wave warp, go to effect controls, and here you can adjust the wave height and width. I'm going to make the wave width a lot bigger to around 100, and I'm going to reduce the wave speed to about 0.5. To add a final touch, let's go to the effects panel and search for directional blur by Film Impact. It's a paid for plugin, but I use a ton of their transitions and they're great. Once you apply the transition, click on it, then go to effect controls. And from here, we're gonna make sure that the angle of the transition is 180 degrees. So it blurs in up and down. And I'm going to increase the blur amount to around 90. And then we can select this transition and hit command C on a Mac to copy it or control C if you're on a PC. And then I'm going to select the end of the title layer and press command V to paste it or control Control V on a PC to paste it to the end of the clip. And now after I hit return or enter to render it out, this is our final effect.
In the program monitor, you can see I've already typed out the letters GAL in a handwritten font called James Fariado. You can see the text layer in the timeline, but to create this write on effect, we first need to go to the project panel and select new item and create a transparent video. Then drag this transparent video layer onto video layer three, and you can adjust the duration to match the duration of the layers below. So go to the effects panel, search for the write on effect and double click to apply it to the transparent video layer. Now from effects controls, we're going to customize the write on effect brush settings. First, let's zoom into the program monitor so we can better see the changes that we make to the brush styles. Now let's adjust the brush size so it matches the same width of the typeface. Then let's make the brush hardness 100% and let's change the stroke length to the duration of 4 seconds. Next let's change the color to red so it's easier to see as we begin to trace. Now let's begin to animate the position of the brush. First make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. Then select the stopwatch next to brush position to begin the animation. And then you can press the right arrow key on your keyboard and move the brush position slightly to start tracing the letters and continue to press the right arrow key and then move the brush position until it's complete and be sure to trace in the natural way that someone would write out these letters. And once you're done, we need to do one more thing. We need to go to effects and search for track matte key. And now let's drag and drop this effect on the text layer, not the transparent video layer. Then from effect controls, go to matte and choose video layer three, which is the transparent video layer. And now we have our final effect. Next is the video inside of text effect. Here in my timeline, I've already created a text layer that says video inside of text. Be sure it's a large bold font because the effect works better. Next from the essential graphics panel, choose new item and select from file. Here you will choose the video clip you want to be inside of the text. So now the video clip is inside of the essential graphics panel. Just be sure that it is underneath the text layer. And the next thing we need to do is select the text layer and then select mask with text. And now when we play it back, you'll see that the video plays inside of the text and that's it. It's really that simple. Now let's go on to the long shadow effect. Another great motion graphics template from Smashworks is their long shadow effect. After it's downloaded, go to the essential graphics panel and select the plus icon in the lower right to install. Once installed, you can search for it with the browse tab. Here I have this space stock video clip in my timeline, and I'm going to drag and drop the long shadow effect Mogurt on top of this video file. Then from the edit tab, I'm going to start customizing. First, I'm going to type out outer space. Then under text properties, I'm going to change the typeface to a font I downloaded called sledge rough. Then you can customize the text size and spacing until it fits what you like. You can then choose to increase or decrease the outline of the text. In my case, I'm going to drop it down all the way to zero. And now on to customizing the shadow. First, you can turn off the gradient mode if you like, which will make it a solid shadow, but I personally like the gradient, so I'm going to keep it on. Next, let's change the color. I'm going to make it a nice orange so it complements the purple in the space background. You can also adjust the length of the shadow if needed using the slider, and you can also adjust the angle using the light source. I'm going to change it to around 60. And then I'm going to reduce the gradient intensity to around 60 using the gradient intensity slider. The last thing I modified was underneath animation. Here I'm going to choose the right in animation and adjust the speed to two. And now we can hit enter or return to render it out. And this is the final long shadow effect.
So those are the five creative title effects in this video. If there's any other creative title effects that you want me to create in the future, just let me know in a comment below. And don't forget that in your comment, I'll be browsing all the other comments and choosing my favorite to win a free version of Animation Builder from Smashworks. I also wanna call attention to this really cool hour long training that Smashworks put together, showing you how they created all their awesome looping illustrated animation. So I'll put a card up here that you can click on to watch that. And don't forget, you can get 10% off any of their products using my code GAL10. And lastly, I wanna introduce you to a new family member of the GAL team. It is Premier Pup Sister that he unfortunately did not get to meet. We are planning on getting a new puppy sister for Spike, uh, just picking her up two days uh, after he passed and he did not make it physically, but we know in our hearts that Spike would want us to continue to get May and she will always be his sister. So. I'm really excited to introduce you to May 4th. She was born on May 4th, so all of you Star Wars fans, may the 4th be with you. And uh, yeah, let me go get her and I'll put her on screen. So this is May 4th. She is just seven weeks old. She just woke up from a nappy and she's just a little bundle of joy. And honestly, I don't know how I would be even filming this without her. Um, Spike blessed us with this little bundle of joy that is his sister, always and forever. And she's just the cutest thing, so. Do you wanna say anything, May? <laughs> she's been destroying the home, peeing, pooping everywhere. I feel like a real mom waking up every hour, but she's a little bundle of joy. And so I'm so glad to introduce you guys to her. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.